Good evening, Colin. It's Tuesday. Dorks among you will notice my Doctor Who mug. I say dorks even though I'm a fan of the show, as though it's a derogatory term. Good job, dorks. Proud of us. So I'm not really that into tea. I know you like tea. I know many British people like tea. Alex Day, Charlie McDonald, people that I look up to. I know a lot of people like tea, and I know a lot of people are really into tea. But the thing for me is that I honestly just prefer coffee. It's just something I grew up with. I always grew up with my dad drinking coffee, so I guess that's the reason why. Also, you know, super American, so... What else is super American is the food that I eat. For example, this is what I decided to make for dinner today. That's two pieces of ham sliced off the bone. That's two eggs. That's two pieces of cheese. That is a horrible thing to do to your arteries. Now, most people are into eating this kind of thing for breakfast, but... I was lazy, didn't know what to make for dinner, so this is my dinner. That and coffee. It's a recurring theme. I actually saw you yesterday, Colin, and that was a cool thing. I made a brief cameo in your vi last video, which was, again, pretty cool. And the thing was that we'd spent a lot of time just talking. We spent a lot of time trying to write music, but, I mean, you can't force genius. Once again, I'm using the word genius. God! I don't know what I'm doing. We're not geniuses. We're just two people who are making things, and sometimes that's all right. Colin, I was thinking about privilege earlier today, and then I realized that I'm too much like John Green, and so I can't really talk about privilege, essentially because I am incredibly privileged, and if I start talking about privilege, I'm going to sound exactly like John, and actually Hank in recent times, because they both started talking more about those kinds of things. I guess the thing is that it all comes down to perspective, the way that we look at the world and how we think about things. And my honest answer for you today as to what my perspective is, which is a question that you didn't ask, but I'm pretty sure that you're wondering about sometimes, because I know I do all of the time. Essentially, to answer the question is that my perspective is that we are growing and changing, and that the way that we constantly look at the world is not constant. Our perspectives are changing, and that's okay, because we are growing and changing. Now, some days I'm going to be incredibly guilty about the fact that I am so privileged as an American. I can drive a car around whenever I want. I have lights. I have running water. I have food around me basically at all times. <laughs> Essentially, I want for very little. I mean, I have stressors in my life, but that's because that's how everyone is. The different stresses that we have in our lives depend on our different situations as people, and that's just how life is. Colin, in talking about perspective, I've realized that I haven't really left it open to your perspective. And the thing is that you and I have perspectives that are, though radically similar, are also radically different. We look at things differently, and that's okay. It doesn't really affect our relationship. In fact, it allows us to argue and have meaningful conversations about things sometimes. Although not always, because let's be honest, sometimes I'm just like... And sometimes you're just like... And sometimes we're both just like... Colin, sometimes we're very boring, lazy people, and that's okay, because that's just how life is. That's just how we are. And I really hate the excuse of that's just how it is, because normally, as a logically thinking person, I don't like to think of things that way. But sometimes I think it's an okay excuse. Sometimes I think it's okay to just say it just is. And a major time that I think that that's okay is in a conversation about perspective and about the way that people interact. Sometimes it just is based upon how the two people are. Now, you can delve deeper into that, of course. You can look at why the people are the way they are and what it is that the people are talking about. But at the end of the day, all you're going to get is a more complicated answer to the question of why are you acting that way. And the more complicated answer is that's just how we are as people. That's just the way that we are. That's just the way it is. And the thing is, is that the way it is is constantly changing. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that the way that we see the world and the way that we perceive ourselves within it is going to change constantly based upon the new information that we're constantly intaking and receiving. I said both and then more than one thing. I recently got a job and that's radically changed life for me. You're deciding to take on a second job and now that you've graduated high school, you're going on to university. Or as we normally call it here, college. But I think university sounds better and also more impressive for you. But our perspectives are changing, not just based on the money that we have or the circumstances surrounding us fiscally or in terms of our friends and family or in terms of our education, but because of just how, who we are as people and how we are growing and changing. Essentially, our music is changing, our tastes are changing, 
Everything that we do is constantly changing because of our perspective. Our perspectives on things like music, politics, religion, it's all changing and growing and adapting as we change and grow and adapt to the information that we're taking in constantly. Colin, I've blathered on quite a bit about perspective, and I don't necessarily know if any of it got through or if any of it made sense. Honestly, I don't even know exactly what I'm trying to say, because I haven't fully fleshed any of this out, and most of this is just stream of consciousness. Maybe I should plan out a script next time. Probably won't do that. Too much effort. At the same time, we have to recognize that through all this blabbering, you are generally going to get the gist of what I'm trying to say. That our perspectives and how we view the world are going to change. Change being a word that I have abused far too much in this video. Generally what I want you to take away from this is that your perspective is going to change and grow and that's totally okay and cool. See, sometimes you're going to like things that you like and sometimes you're going to start to dislike some of those things. And sometimes you're going to call yourself a dork for the things you, that you like. But you meant it in a really good way. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow.